Now that I have uh, crimped the Rubin cable, I've taken the uh, test signal mask, gone ahead and plugged it in. And the default, the way it works when you start up the board, is it's uh, both red either direction. So, with that testing all good, I will switch it out with the TSMK strip. Now with the uh, terminal strip attached to the ribbon cable, I've gone ahead and soldered um, some thicker wire for the ground, or positive connections for both signal heads, and I've gone ahead and put them in the screw terminal on the signal strip. And then what I'm going to do next is go through each one of the wires for this common, and I'm going to see what's red, yellow, and green. And the way I test the LEDs is with the common already screwed in, I know that the red terminal, which is the one closest to the common, that is going to be get, getting power right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each one of these wires, after they've been tinned, into this slot next to the common, and I'll see what lights up. Alright, I have soldered on um, colored wires. Uh, one because, well, so I can tell what color, what wire is what color. Two, um, when using BLMA signals and using the screw terminals, these terminals are kinda too big for the tiny, tiny magnet wire. So in order to get things to hold, I uh, solder on a larger gauge wire that just happens to be color-coded. And the order I do that is, uh, like you saw, first I do I solder on the black, which is the common, and then I put heat shrink tubing over it, uh, test the connection, see if a light lights up. If it does, I'll go ahead and uh, shrink the heat shrink tubing, and I will take the other wire, uh, solder on the right color, put the heat shrink tubing on, and then test. So first I'm doing a test to see what light it is. Once I have it soldered to these cables, I'm making sure that the uh, soldering actually worked. And then the heat shrink tubing obviously goes on before that, loosely, because say if the solder doesn't work quite correctly, um, you have to go back and you know re-solder it. And then once you know the connection's good, you can go ahead and tighten up the heat shrink tubing. And then go ahead and screw things into the screw terminal. And as you can see, lower aspect of my signal is on. And another small thing I'd like to point out is the uh, ends of the wires, those that are uh, stranded wires, I have soldered or tinned them so I don't have any stray wires causing any shorts. The uh, solid wire, like the green, I didn't need to solder because it's, uh, I won't have to worry about that. And for the purposes of my installation, I've gone ahead and installed sort of the um, other terminal strip, and then I've cut the ribbon to the appropriate length. Um, and then this will be for the signals that go into the switch.